and what might come out of the two sessions discussions on the environment. This week I spoke to Barbara Finnamore. She's the Asia Director for the National Resources Defense Council, a U.S.-based nonprofit environmental group. I expect to see a deepening of the efforts that China has been making in the last few years to address climate change, reduce its reliance on coal, at, um, attack pollution, and in general address the environmental degradation that is facing China today. I'm delighted that China has chosen green development as one of the five major principles of its next five-year plan, because I think the government recognizes that there's not a conflict between environmental protection and economic development. To the contrary, economic development in a sustainable, long-term manner, manner is dependent upon addressing environmental issues in China, and that addressing them will lead to increased prosperity for all. And I think this is a very positive step. It will also help China to make a clear contribution, as it has been doing in the last couple of years, towards reducing its greenhouse gas emissions and making its contribution towards tackling global uh, climate change. As you know, climate change has become a priority for the Chinese government, playing prominently with the issue of the economy. It's ranked right up there. What do you make of that? I think China has become a leader in addressing climate change uh, by reducing its, by making the transition to a low carbon economy, not just by its determined efforts to reduce its reliance on coal, but also by becoming a world leader in renewable energy. It now is the world's largest investor in renewable energy, and it leads the world an installed capacity of wind and solar. China recognizes that this is in its own interest. It leads to cleaner air, and also it helps to improve China's uh, energy security, and also because China's own scientists recognize that climate change poses a severe threat to China itself. It's one of the countries in the world that's most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change.